Hey Lance Egan here with Fly Fishing Skill Builder number five. Today we're going to check out our most popular strike indicators. We're going to take a look at the fly patches we use to replace the patches on packs and vests. And finally, we're going to tell you why you should be checking out your hooks and looking for rolled hook points. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you won't miss any of these skill builders. Dude, that's a big brown bro. Yeah. All right, here are a couple of common questions we get and uh, about strike indicators. So number one, we get asked, what are our favorite strike indicators, which everybody in the shop has a different favorite, but uh, our best sellers are the airlocks and the Oros. This is the Oros. The Oros indicators simply screw apart. They have a little slot there that you stick your leader into, and then you take the cap and just simply screw it back on top. That way, once they're on the line, all you have to do to move them up or down is loosen the cap and slide them up or back, and then tighten them back down and they stay in place. The newer version that's from Airlock is called the Center Lock. It's very similar, except that it has kind of a cross on one side, an X on one side, and some texture on the other. The texture tells you which side is the cap, so you know which side you need to unscrew and which side has the gap to put your leader in. Also, these have a wide gap and a narrow gap, depending on the size of leader. You're putting your butt section in there or more into the tippet. Otherwise, they work the same. This just goes right on top, and the little uh, texture on top allows you to quickly screw it together. One other hack you can do with these is you can do a 90 in those little wedges. So very versatile indicators. They come in different colors. They come in different sizes. The Oros or the Aerolock, a couple of our best sellers. A question I'm often asked on social media is what is that little fly box on top of your chest pack? In this case, this is the CNF Design chest box. It's basically a drying patch. So this pack, the Umco Overlook, comes with a little foam patch. And the foam patch can work pretty well in most situations, but I use almost exclusively barbless flies. And I find that barbless flies, when they're just in foam, tend to fall out. So I replace this patch and it kind of works as my drying patch. You could also load it with kind of a day's worth. As you can see, I have more like a month's worth in there, but I use it with, to dry flies. Um, I put damaged flies in there and so on. This one's from CNF Design. This other option is the Fulling Mill fly patch. That's a newer option from Fulling Mill. It's very similar. You got some micro slit foam. It does have a magnetic closure. Both of them have a magnetic closure. They both are designed to mount in place of that little drying patch. So again, great for barbers flies. You don't want to put wet flies back into a fly box because it'll rust all the hooks around them. So best to put them in some sort of fly box, uh, chest box like this or a drying patch. And just a real quick, easy addition to your vest. Oh! Dang it. I hooked and lost a decent fish there. Chances are my hook point is rolled. Sure is. It's actually a cool time to show you a trick. Let's take a close look. All right, as you saw, I hooked and lost a fish over there, and that's because my hook point is rolled. I find often that people fish with hook points that are damaged. People bring flies into the shop saying, match this one for me. This is my last one. And I was killing them on it, and then I just started losing tons of fish. And you run your fingernail or your, just your skin across the hook point and you feel a little burr on the point of the hook. So if you start, if you're on the river and you miss a, miss a few fish, especially continuously, we all miss a fish here and there, but you hook a few and lose them during the battle, check that hook. In this case, this one has a burr, so what I'm going to do is use a little hook hone. This is the Dr. Slick uh, nipper, just with a hook hone. They make this now in silver. We carry it on our side. It's called the Dr. Slick Satin Nipper with file and all I'm going to do is take the hook and run it in that little groove and run the point away from the file. You could also do this with a regular hook file like the loon hook hone. Same thing, it's got grooves or you don't have to use the grooves but basically you don't want to push into the point, you want to pull away from the point and you want to make sure you're not contacting your tippet. But I'm just going to sharpen that point up. You can run it on all sides to where I don't feel a burr and you can test it on your thumbnail. If it sticks, you know you're back in business and it's nice and sharp. Keep an eye on those hook points. Doing so will save you some fish.